What is the relationship with Jesus? It means that I am connected to him through a covenant. It means I live my life with an intent. And it also means I never stop learning. God doesn't want you to go through life. God wants you to grow through life. And God does not want you to become a scholar. He wants you to remain a student. Yes. Come on. When I was at 14 years of age, and uh, I thought I had God figured out. I went to a very big church. It's a, over probably a thousand and a half or two thousand member church, a very big church. And I, I don't think I've read the whole Bible through. I read the New Testament many times. But when, it, when we came to the United States, I knew I had God figured out. And uh, I knew what God wanted. I knew that God did not want people to raise hands during worship. Because that's how we grew up in, is that during worship, well, there was no worship. Just singing hymns. And you were not allowed to raise your hands. Your clapping was not allowed in the church. So I knew this is what God is. God doesn't do clapping. And the hopping, I mean, this is complete hedonism and paganism. This is wrong. And when you have drums, I mean, this is the next thing to like witchcraft. And like, this is clubbing. And when you have lights, this is really bad. And women do not, if women wear earrings, I mean, it's, it's bad. And when you wear a tie, it's an arrow pointing straight to hell. And I knew I had God figured out. When we come, and some of you don't know what I'm talking about because you did not grow up like that and praise God for you. But for me, when we came to the United States and my pastor comes and he begins to institute worship. Means we have three songs and we sing and we, we can raise our hands. And I was so bottled up by that because in my mind, I already 14 years of age. And I have gotten God figured out. I was able to fit an ocean into a cup. And I remember debating with Ilya, my cousin. And I was proving to him that God hates people who dance. I didn't have a scripture for it, but I knew it. <laughs> and Ilya brings the scripture, opens up and says, there's calves. The people will dance like calves. I was like, that's for animals, not for humans. And I remember fighting. The Bible says, clap all, to, uh, clap your hands, all you people. Shout to God with the voice of tribe. And I'm like, no, it's wrong. And I'm listening to myself. I am saying no to the Bible. And I say the Bible is wrong. Because my problem is that I became a scholar at 14 years of age. I've gotten God figured out. Some of you, you were scholars until you came to our church. You knew how the service is supposed to be done. And you knew how people are supposed to be delivered. You've never seen one, but you knew how they're supposed to be delivered. You knew what the church is supposed to be like and what's not supposed to be like until the first prayer line. You're like, what is that? Ah, you became a scholar. And Jesus says, if you want to grow in me, you'll never graduate from student. You're always a student. You're anointed worldwide ministry. People are falling under the power of God. Remain a student. Why? Because the moment you stop being a student, you become a critic. Every movement in Christianity that stopped being a student and became a scholar became the movement that picked up the stone that says, we know how God's supposed to do. And that is not God. Every movement. And we are personally in danger of that because right now we are used to what we see here. And Jesus says, never stop learning.